Hey everybody, BTO Pro here. Uh, today I'm going to show you just how full of myself I can be by taking on a tour of my own website. All right, well that's not really what the point is, but the point is that uh, my personal uh, blog runs on a CMS called Grav CMS, and uh, there was a question raised by uh, Paul Hibbets, who I talked to a lot on Twitter, uh, about using it with Git Sync. So Git Sync is a plugin for it. You can see. Uh, and whenever I make a change to my site, it actually shows up in this Git repo. Uh, awesome plugin. You know, I, I have a backup with version control of everything I've ever written, uh, which is why I switched to this in part. So you can see a Markdown-based version of all my content there. And go to raw, and you can see, hey, Markdown-based content. That's awesome. Has its you know head matter in there. Sweet. Uh, so I wanted to see if I could combine this with um, with hacks. Um, and I told Paul that it would work, and I wasn't actually sure. So this video is to see that going on. So I have hacks installed. Um, it's its own, it's a Git repo, so you have to go to elmzln uh, slash grab hyphen plugin hyphen hacks at the moment until it gets through package manager. But uh, what I could do, and I did end up fixing some things as a result of doing this, but let's uh, make a new page here. Okay, and this is just gonna be at the root level, and sure. So what Hacks is gonna do, I'm not gonna get any editing interface, we do need to do some UX cleanup, but I get this little power button. I'm gonna power it on, and then I can uh, write a heading here. And what I'm doing is I'm writing HTML, if you haven't seen any of the Hacks demos. So I'm writing HTML, but I'm doing so uh, via this really slick UX pattern that I can run across different systems. So there, I just added a video um, and I did it to Grav, but I did it via hacks. Um, so now I'm gonna hit power button so I can see what it would really look like. I can't select it or click in this point and you know edit it, but now it's there and I can hit save. And after I save it, you'll see it loads again, which is a really good thing. That means that I actually saved it because this had to get processed to build it. So now we should have this make a new page. And I'm not positive if git sync just runs automatically. There we go. Okay, so git sync does run automatically. I didn't actually, I must have it in that option. But so it made a folder, make a new page. And you can see there's page.md. And there's the stuff that I wrote. And if I view it raw, you'll see it is the HTML that I just produced. Um, now there is video player, you notice, you know, that video isn't there. Video hyphen player is a custom HTML tag. So in this instance, um, you know, you would have to have this in some system that has, understands what video player is. Now video player can be accessed via CDNs. It's, that's pretty easy to do an integration with, but, um, Another thing that I was able to clean up in the process of doing this is it now is able to load in things that have already been created. So you have unsaved changes, yeah, I don't care. Okay, so let's go to, uh, let's find a page. I'm gonna have to look at it in here to find it because I have hacks on. Let's go to blog and transforming industry through information altruism. Let's see if that's text or not. Raw. Okay, that no. I, I don't want I don't want paragraphs of text. What I, what I'm looking for is uh, something in Markdown. So this probably isn't Markdown. There we go. Okay. So actually curing ed tech uh, post I did not too long ago. So if I look in the latest posts, there we go. First one. Duh. Actually curing ed tech. So that is uh, being stored currently. You can see if I look at the raw. Here. <laughs> it is currently stored as Markdown. So now you can see that I can go and I can just move this paragraph up above where it's a ding. I don't want to mess with it too much, to be perfectly honest. Um, and it's not, you know, obviously this was structured in a certain way, so it doesn't have all of the affordances that I currently have if I made this pre-hack or post-hacks, if you will. So um, still a little rough around the edges, but you can see I made a spelling error there. Education, there we go. Uh, ed tech, cool. 
So I can edit this. It's it was Markdown. It got promoted to HTML and put here. So now let's hit save. And I made uh, three changes, right? I, I moved this OK class pencils down above the word ding. And now if I go back over to here, to this site uh, with the raw content delivery, hit raw, huh, not sure it, it says 22 seconds ago that it, fi that it changed it. OK, it did change it. You know, it must be the CDN hasn't. Uh, hasn't cleared to to show me. Let me see if I open it in an in incognito window or something. Huh. No, CDN must not have cleared on a, on their side. Oh, you know, I don't have my build. A, there we go. <laughs> go ahead and cheat on uh, c uh, cache things. Uh, so you can see that it took my content, and that, that actually is kind of nice to have it in both. There we go. Took my content that was marked down. Um, and then it promoted it to HTML and put it in. Now, this starts to get to a uh, you know, philosophical argument, to be quite honest. Do you want your stuff to be uh, Markdown or do you want it to be in HTML? Now, Markdown is, is a bit cleaner, right? There's, there's not the markup implication. Um, and I have been using Markdown in this way for you know, at least the last few months. It's pretty cool. Um, it does preclude that you have systems to throw Markdown in, you know, that, that know how to render Markdown uh, versus the HTML-based approach. Uh, for example, I could pick this up and I could go into uh, a different content management system that knows how to render blobs of HTML, uh, which I happen to, to work on one. And you source, paste it into a hideously awful CK editor field, and now I have all that stuff. So um, I just dumped that in there and it's working. Um, another thing I could do relative to that, uh, let's see that video that we had to illustrate that that is a legit tag. Um, so if I go to raw for this and copy that HTML blob and this is Elms Learning Network, which has knowledge of, of components. And so I believe video player will render. Oh, perhaps not there. I might have to. We're still doing a little bit of integration work with this. So if I go to this path, I bet it will. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so there's that video that was put in. And so I um, hope that kind of illustrates the, the portability aspect as well as one of the goals with hacks, right? So I produce this content in Grav and this system knows how to edit it over on this side. Um, eventually, I will get over how stinking cool this is, um, but probably not for a while. So now I made that change. Uh, I can hit save, and now I have saved that, fundamentally altered it in a different location, a non-grav location in this case, you know, illustrating the power of hacks here. Uh, so I could go, I could grab this material. You see it has scoped it a little bit differently, uh, which I need to clean up in that app. And so now if I want to update that random page, well, one, let's fix our blog post to put it back the way it was. Since I did write, there we go, this post was made hacks. So take that out, save, save. Okay, hopefully it doesn't save that little hacks element there. Good, okay, leave. Uh, let's leave latest posts and go to make a new page. And now, I should, well, I don't have the, you know, expert mode at the moment with this doesn't, uh, still has hacks there. So I'm not going to be able to just copy and paste and overwrite with the text that it was as it was before, but, you know, illustrating same UX pattern as before. Um, since this is headless, I could, you know, make the exact same change that I made in the other place. And duplicate that item, disable, hit save, and now over on our CDN to copy. There we go, just now updated. And we've got a video tag in there with a different color. So I uh, hope this is helpful for illustrating kind of why we're working on hacks, but also, you know, uh, the integration with Grav and how it can escalate 
previously produced content, but still leverage a lot of the, the Git-based workflows that, uh, that Markdown affords.